Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios, what up though? <laughs> How's it been, Scorpios? It's been a while. It feels like it's been a while. I've been thinking about you guys all, like, all these four days, okay? Because I'm like, I can't wait to go home and make videos. Like today when I was coming home, I was like, I can't wait to make videos. It is Friday. I'm not going to be working on the weekends. Oh my God. I just want to get back to what I love, right? So let's just see what we get for you. This is going to be the next 48 hours for you. So um, if this resonates, go ahead and, you know, give me a thumbs up. It's not going to be a long video or anything like that because it is already late and I don't want to wait any longer. It's like 8 o'clock right now. I was going to wait until tomorrow, honestly, you guys, to upload a video for you. But I was like, let's just start this now and then tomorrow we'll start doing like regular videos, okay? But I don't know how my schedule is going to be. I'm going to try to get some videos in this week um but i kid you not i just can't i don't know how all right so this is to see what this is okay general reading all all yeah okay this is not a personal one so take what resonates and throw out the rest you know how we do on here all right if you want to book a personal with me go ahead um all the information is going to be in the description box we do have same day reading also available you guys if you don't want to set an appointment um because you know that my slots are very limited from now on so if you want same day you all that price that same day is still available okay um so just look in the description box all right so let's just see let's see let's see let's see what we got for scorpio sun moon rising and venus sun next 48 you walking away from something in the next 48 that you have made a decision about you feel really good within the situation you feel like it's the best thing for you and that situation that you're going to leave in the past in the next 48 hours so i'm also seeing the eight of pentacles there was a loss within the situation someone did not want to change or someone did not want to invest this could be a gemini aquarius or a, a libra energy that you are dealing with or someone that is very young Someone that wants their way. Someone that is just living in the moment. Okay. Within this fool's energy. So tell me more. Holy Spirit. Well, there was a fight here or some kind of words that was exchanged that wasn't very nice. Um, I'm getting jealousy. I'm getting envy. Because that magician in reverse, spiritually, this person is, they hate everything that you are spiritually. That's what this is. And it's like eating them alive because they don't have that light that you have. This is what I'm getting. So tell me more, Holy Spirit, Gemini, Aquarius, or uh, Virgo. All right, I'm seeing that you're crying or you're stressed or you're depressed. This is someone that you adore. This is someone that you care about. This is someone that showed up having some form of addiction or someone that is still tied with someone else, okay? I'm seeing Capricorn energy, Major Arcana, okay? So we have Gemini, Virgo, uh, Scorpio, and we have Capricorn as Major Arcana. They could, that could be their sun, their moon, their rising energy, or placement or venus placement but i'm also seeing that this could be something to do with you as well for those of you who have that particular energy scorpio because you share the magician tell me more you feel like there's no hope you feel like there's no new way nothing that can you can use to kind of like get you out of this predicament you feel like you are basically stuck right now within a situation Like something is not working out whatever you have chosen how to make this work like you're realizing like damn you know what we have planned to do or what we chosen to do is not working this person is very distant on an emotional level on a physical level in the next 48 hours 
you feel like you're far away from each other you're exhausted you're preparing to do something this person is not doing anything good by you it's not even giving you an offer i'm seeing that you are doing everything on your own I'm seeing that all the things that are going to be successful for you is things that you're going to be working on right now or within the next 48 hours that is going to be if you keep like doing this and and planting these seeds in that particular energy you're going to be successful something is going to take off because your contract is success your contract is victory and this is not a short-term situation this is a long-term victory so you're showing up as in reverse so there is some kind of separation between you and this person in the next 48 hours but you're okay look at that you're the king of pentacles you're taking charge there's going to be somebody new coming in there's going to be a new beginning with love for you with someone else okay so tell me all right this looks like a twin energy that you're going through look at this you have the lovers which is kind of like similar energy and then you have the devil and the devil is a lot of shadow work you're going through a lot of shadow work and then you have angel Raphael right here within the lovers um, and I feel like there was a reason why you had to go through this because Raphael do put people together when the mission is important and I feel like your union was very important okay all right so but just know that the soul when the soul make these agreements the soul really thinks that you know they're gonna come to earth and they're going to be successful because there's no failure in heaven there's no like no you can't do this and you know there is no bad thought it is not like you can have a bad thought you can but it doesn't stay with you You're like uh, uh that's not gonna happen the soul doesn't register that as something that could happen they know that is a possibility that okay yeah this might happen this might happen but it's like they make a solution for it within this virtual world. So when they come here and their vibration is really low, the body is making all these choices. This is what happens. So you're supposed to be together, but it seems like this person is already taken. Because this person is stuck into some kind of addiction, a drug addiction, or some kind of marriage or relationship that is very toxic okay we have the queen of pentacles tell me more then you have the two of pentacles wow so there was a lot of juggling going back and forth here and this it's like i'm getting an overwhelming energy you're protecting your state of mind from this person you're protecting your money as well something about money but there is another chance coming through ha <laughs> all right now let's see no apology so this is what i got for gems the same energy so a lot of you could be dealing with a gemini i do see gemini's major arcana here okay so those of you who are dealing with a gemini go over to the gemini's video on cross watch that one but there is a third party showing up like they're going back and forth with you they need to make a decision here i feel like they're just overwhelmed i'm not saying i'm not seeing that they're like saying they made a decision you know with the two of pentacles even though it's in reverse it's like they're giving me like uh you know this over here is not as greener than i that i thought <laughs> there's no apology they're just coming up like you know like you're gonna take them back period all right so yeah you have lost so much you have the eight of pentacles plus the nine of pentacles in reverse so you have lost so much here and then you have the seven the seven of cups so this person is looking at other oh my god i can't speak other options um scorpio and that is your energy you're like girl if you knew the seven of cups you know this person has their back turned to me and everything that i'm doing is like you're um getting your future ready it's all about your future you're planning you're doing things a lot of you are going back to school a lot of you are you know doing big things on your job 
um, or your businesses, like you're opening multiple businesses and this person is not helping you with anything, Scorpio, anything at all. This is what I'm getting. Tell me about this, this uh, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is ruled by Taurus. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. So tell me about this energy that's coming through. This stubborn energy. It's like this person is very stubborn. Also in Virgo. Wow. It's like difficulties between you and this person. This is what I'm seeing here. This person is saying that it's like you and this person is just, there's a lot of noise. Just imagine you and this person on an ocean and you're in the water, but your back is turned to each other. That's how I see the two of swords. And it's like your your eyes are covered, you're refusing, you're both refusing to see what's in front of you. And that is giving me an energy of you knowing this person for a long time or being with this person for a long time. And this is going to be difficult because a lot of you have invested money or invested a life with this person and you know what needs to be done but you keep putting it off so a lot of you could be dealing with a capricorn okay because capricorns um this could be their sun moon or rising or venus placement okay but or, or venus sign okay but i'm seeing like this person has a tendency to go back to someone or go back to the past because Capricorns do that a lot where they know someone is not good for them. They don't love them anymore. But when they are lonely, okay, they, it's like having an addiction. It's like an unhealthy addiction, knowing that someone loves. It's like they, it's like, it's like they're okay being with the person that loves them more than them, that, that they love them. You know, they don't love them. But they would rather be with that person that loves them more than the person that they're so in love with because it kind of scares them. Um, and that person has a lot of power, right, over that Capricorn. And that Capricorn wants to be very masculine, right? So the Capricorn will go back to someone that they're not in love with. And I feel like this is what I'm getting. Like this person has a lot of problems with you, the person that they love, okay? But they keep going back to someone that they're not in love with. And when they say they're not in love with them, believe them, believe them. But why they keep going back to them? That's a Capricorn. They feel safe with someone that is not going to, to leave them and it's just, uh, it's just a really crazy energy. And I'm talking about someone that has the devil's energy, Capricorns that has devil's energy, meaning that they have a lot of childhood trauma, even though they could um, be raised in a great family on the outside, okay? But on the inside, their father cheats on their mother every day and every night. They started sex at an early age, or they maybe were their first time was with a, a older woman or an older man. Um, maybe it was their family member, okay, that did that, or it was a neighbor down the street or something, something that they shouldn't have experienced and the family just covered it up instead of dealing with it. No one talks about it, right? But on the outside, the family looks very together. You would never know. It's like they have Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, or they're just, their family is just crazy, crazy. And you can see it on the outside. You can see it on the outside. You can see it by you standing there and looking in that this family is crazy, but sometimes you can't because they really cover that up. So, and Capricorns are very homebound, so they will have a lot of things that happened in their family, but they would still be with their family, living with their family. And even though this thing, these things happen, because they keep going back to something that is not healthy. They have that, that energy. They are the devil energy so they have that energy where they just don't know when to leave a toxic situation alone and sometimes it will take their life so you need to pray for this person okay pray for this capricorn and i see it all the times i had capricorn friends and i still have one and it's like wow you know <sighs> they will marry the one that they don't love and stay with them and cry about it to other people. But you married them. You're like, you married.
married him are you married? like what are you talking about so i just feel like you're dealing with one of those energies scorpio and that's supposed to be your match by the way capricorn don't don't ask me why but it's logically <laughs> capricorn is supposed to make a scorpio very happy all right um let's see okay let's just see what the holy spirit the advice is for you okay because i don't want to be on here too long just wanted to give you a little um reading tonight so what's the advice for this holy spirit for scorpio oh all right Um, you know what I'm hearing, Scorpio? Look at this. You have the Three of Swords. Ugh, something about the past and something about someone that you have forgiven. Something about a third party situation that you have forgiven. So this person cheated on you on the, in the past. You have forgiven that situation. And now it seems like this situation is coming back in. There is also a transformation happening within the future. Like there is going to be a change. There's going to be an ending because of this this past situation coming back in. There is no communication. Look at that. You're, it's like you're cutting someone off. But this is what the angels are saying. And you specifically, Angel Raphael and Gabrielle is coming in. Watch out for the signs. Gabrielle is a talk talker. Okay. Gabrielle is telling you message every day and every night, whispering in your ears. Hey, do you hear me? So watch out for the signs for Gabrielle, but you also have Raphael here just like trying to have you to continue to heal and make sure you put in heal on your front, 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 the front center of everything that you do, because there is going to be new love that is going to be coming into your life. And the more healed you are the better because you're not going to live in fear or make decisions based on fear because this is what you're doing now okay within the nine of swords this is the fear card the nine of swords you're in your head about certain things you're crying you feel like this person is not going to come back to you you feel like the, the things that this person said to you was very hurtful you don't know why because you were so beautiful to this person you know you gave this person everything that you can but this person shows up like somebody that has some kind of addiction situation okay and they don't want to, to like change or end it they're not doing anything to better themselves and then you have the narcissist energy which is the manipulator which you have with the magician but you also have narcissist energy within the magician in reverse then you have this devil's energy which is also coming up as the manipulator so they have one-on-one -on -one level of manipulation and then they're a narcissist this is who you're dealing with so everything is your fault everything there's no other way this is your fault angel Raphael is saying that you need time to heal baby you can't be in that other relationship without healing. You can't, okay? This person is not trying to chase you. This person, you're gonna need to forgive. You're gonna need to move on. You're gonna need to forgive yourself within the five of cups. You're gonna need to move on from someone that is not gonna chase you anymore because in time, you're gonna get better. Trust the universe, trust divine timing. Divine timing is at play within your situation. There is no other way, Scorpio. They're saying that you cannot, you're a controller. I'm a controller, I'm a Scorpio. But we have to realize that there's a bigger picture at hand here. There's a bigger power behind us. And what is going to happen is going to happen. We're always planning our lives. We're always planning, you know, someone, when we meet someone, we plan our anniversary in our heads. We're just already there. But this person is just in the moment. But we're already at engagement. We're already at marriage. We're not about the game. So, but the angels are saying like you're planning everything like, and then nothing happens the way you're thinking it. And this is devastating to you because you want these things. Have fun. Have fun right now. Enjoy your life. This is what I'm seeing here. You have Sag energy as a major arcana. You have Gemini energy as major arcana, you guys. This could be their sun, moon, or rising, or Venus placement. You have Capricorn. You have Scorpio. You have Virgo. Take it as it resonates and throw out the rest. And um, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. 
all the information for personals will be in the description box and when you do like the video youtube push it push the video to a bigger audience so the video can grow so the channel can grow remember that your likes do matter okay and if you want to donate to the channel go ahead and press that super thanks right here or you can send it to me directly all my information is in the description box and I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Comment down below in this video what the videos that you want me to do tomorrow, 48, 24, um, or a no contact. Singles is also welcome here as well. So if you want me to do a singles read or a money read, I'm going to count the ones that are mostest, okay? So please comment down below and I'll see you guys in your next one. Skirt, yes, skirt, yes, skirt, yes. Bye, guys.